Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mike Rondo and today we're doing something a little interesting with my tobacco smoking and this goes This happened because well to be honest. I didn't think I was gonna get my hands on this type of tobacco considering it's overseas and I just I just didn't think I was gonna get it anytime soon at least um, however, I was in my early days of uh, YouTubing here five six months ago, whatever and I always go to there and to back again. I love that channel and he did one on on this hair Vincent Manil, let me just show you here. That's the label Vincent Manil, this gentleman here who grows his own tobacco from seed to blending or whatever you want to call it um, And he's in the Ardennes Valley uh, In Belgium, and this is what it is right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that I might be too close. There we go and it's called La Valute, La Valute, which is, I think, from my translation thing, is like the little squirrel, scrolls that are on like the pillars uh, you'd see in ancient Greece and stuff like that. So this is what we're smoking today. I know on TobaccoPipes.com, which is where I got this, it's still available. It didn't get many stars. Um, I don't know why. I'm going to find out anyway, but... Uh, this is extra large cut pipe tobacco. Now they say it's uh, dry and it comes in this like brick, 3.5 ounces. Um, and it is dry, not too bad, um, but let's give it a brick note. And it smells like hay and grass. Now, I don't know, I might have to, let me pull this out, pull the phone out here. Let me just lower the radio, I don't even know if you can hear it, but I'll lower the radio a little bit. Um, uh, it, just, it says it's a burly, it's ribbon cut, um, but that's pretty much it. Taste is full, room note, strong, I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> But uh, well, let's let's uh, get into this. Of course, I'm also drinking some whiskey. I'm actually going with uh, some Texas bourbon here. Uh, a little bit of maple. Uh, I don't know how good this is going to pair, but it's kind of a brisk day here in Rhode Island. It's uh, it's not bad. It's 46 in the shed of solitude. It was at 41, I think. So the temperature's going up. I haven't turned on the Mr. Buddy propane heater. I don't think I need it. But uh, let's try to get this smoked. And we'll see how this goes. Because uh, in this brick, it's packed pretty tight. So I don't know how I'm going to... Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is this is very dry. I can tell you that. Um, this will probably light very easy. I'll say that. Um, not that that's a problem. I mean, I could rehydrate that. I got to rehydrate, uh, an English blend that I got from Signal Man Tony. I got to do that. So, um, you know, I got to do that. So, all right, well, we'll close this up. I mean, I don't mind the brick thing. It's not, it's not bad. Uh, it's interesting. It makes probably shipping a lot easier for the form. Um, but, uh, let me pack my pipe here. This will be uh, this will be interesting. I can smell that hay, man. That's very uh, and I like burly, so this shouldn't be too bad. So I'm wondering why this didn't get a higher rating, at least on TobaccoPipes.com. I mean, other people might feel differently other places. I know this was on. It's out of stock, I think, at SmokingPipes.com, but. Uh, these, this cut is like, <laughs> I'm struggling here to get a good, because of the, the ribbons are just big, which I don't mind, but anyway, um, I think I got it here, we, we're good, I think we're good, all right, so I'm smoking this in my Morgan's pipe right here, Let me, I don't know why it's not focusing, sometimes this camera just uh, doesn't want to focus, I don't know why. Here we go. No, I guess it doesn't want to, it doesn't care. Um, 
So, but anyway, hopefully I'm in focus. So we're going to try this. Uh, I'm using my hot dog Zippo right here. There we go. Now we're focusing. There we go. There's my Morgan pipe. Uh, this is uh, this is a good one. I'm glad I, I'm drinking whiskey because I got a little bit. This is sticky, this whiskey. And I spilt a bunch, so it's going to get on my fingers, and it'll get on this pipe to add some more character. So, uh, anyway, let's get into this. Keep blowing my own lighter out. That's what happens when you got a big nose. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a ski slope. <laughs> I almost burned my face off. Ooh. Yeah, you can smell very tobacco, um, burly, cut hay, um, kind of like, I want to say a bit of like cigarette kind of hit to it, not hit, but like uh, flavoring, if you will. Um, it's surprisingly, it didn't burn as much as I thought it was going to burn. Of course, that could have been me with how I packed it. Um, let's get some more here. Hmm. Kind of like a, I would say more a cigarette than cigar kind of tasting note. Not the burly that I'm used to, like, of course I compare it with Haunted Bookshop, but that's got other, you know, stuff going on there. This is like a straight up burly, and it's interesting, because, and again, it's just like uh, the uh, LJ Peretti I had the other day. It was a straight Virginia, and this is like a straight burly, I guess you could say. And it's unique, it's interesting, um, I don't mind the room though, it's, it's kind of, it doesn't smell like, I may be tasting like the cigarette kind of, uh, cigar taste, um, but the room note is not that if that makes any sense it's it's more maybe burly like um which isn't i don't know it's hard to explain this whole thing uh my reviews are really pointless to be honest but everyone seems to have fun when i do these things this kind of pairs pretty good i gotta be honest this is this brings the sweet this brings the strong tobacco kind of taste um interesting um is this for everyone no i can't see Renaissance Piper liking this. Uh, well, no, he might like it. I'm sorry. Redcoats. I can't see Lester liking this. I could be wrong, though. He might be intrigued because this is from the Arden, and it's from the seat. It's 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 specially made in a sense. It's not manufactured like like uh, Cornell and Deal and all them. Like it's it's a uh, it's like me or someone else, um, Logan from there and Tobacco again doing it himself, which I get a feeling he's going to make his own blend. And if he does, I want to try some. But So it's unique, and it's worth trying. Is this like a go-to for me? No. No, I wouldn't say that. This is... Uh, this is enjoyable, but it's, it's a once-in-a-while kind of smoke, if I could 
that's what I would go with. Like like this, I could picture me having this on a hot summer night. I think because it's more like a cigar-y kind of tasting note, to me at least. Others may think differently. And I, and I smoke cigars more on in the summer and pipes more in the winter and fall. Although you guys know from the videos I've done in the summer, I do smoke my pipe as well. I do smoke more pipes than tobacco, I mean uh, cigars. Although I did order some cigars today, but um, this is a very interesting, I, I mean, I recommend it. Is this something you're gonna wanna go to often? I, I don't think so. Unless you're, a, even if you're a burly guy, or a burly woman, if you're into burlies, I don't think you would go for this that often. That's just my opinion. I'm not a big, I like burlies. I'm not the big burly expert or anything like that. So it's just my opinion. Lower that down so I don't get a strike. Although, it pairs well with this, I gotta say. I don't know, it just mixes very well. So if you do try this, I recommend you try it. If you if you're like me and you wanna try everything and kinda see what your tastes really are, because I'm still new at this, I'm still a novice. It's worth trying. It's a little more expensive than a two ounce tin, but you get, you know, another ounce, I guess, what is this, three extra large cut, uh, 3.5 ounces, so you get another ounce and a half. Um, so it's a little more expensive, and it's from overseas, and it's from a specialty uh, blender, if you will, or tobacconist. I don't know what you would call him, to be honest, or artisan, but it, it's good. So I recommend that. And I'm going to enjoy having this throughout the year. Like, this is going to last me a while. Probably two years because like I said I'm going to smoke this occasionally um, but you never know in the summer I might smoke a lot of this who knows but I'm glad I got it I, I recommend it but it's not compared to my other tobaccos it's not um, it's not up there in rank or anything like that I enjoy it but it's not uh, not a big hit it's just one of those it's almost like when I do my end of the year review of my favorite tobaccos of 2021 and I do my honorable mentions, I might have to make a category for most intriguing tobaccos that I've smoked for 2021. Because it's not that I, I, I'm in love with it or to compete with that list of my favorites. It's more like I'm glad I tried it, had some interesting things, and I enjoy that it's in my collection at the moment and I can go to it and have it. Would I get it again? At some point, yeah. But would I rush out and get it again? No, no, not like Autumn Evening or Gentleman Caller or uh, Virginia Cream or any of that. Of course, it's different. It's a different, you know, haunted bookshop. I would get over this. Um, but that's a whole different thing. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. You should check it out. Give it a whirl. Let me know. And if you have tried it, if anyone of, of uh, the YTPC has tried this and I haven't found the video yet, I'll probably look it up after this. Um, let me know what you guys think compared to what my review is. Um, and I'll leave there in Tabak's um, review of the tobacco that he, he, what was it, La? I can't even remember it. Um, but anyway, he gives more of a history of the tobacconist or blender, whatever you want to call them, and the Ardennes and the history of it. And it, it I, you know what the big appeal and what hooked me in with that video is that Logan mentioned how there was three major battles that were fought at the, in the Ardennes, you know, World War I. World War II, the two battles there. And thinking of my grandfather lately with the old vintage radio here and the World War II vets and stuff, and knowing that it's grown in that region, you kind of feel a little bit more connected, I guess. At least I do. But anyway, that's going to do it. Cheers to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. If you're off tomorrow, I hope you enjoy the day and have a good day of reflecting, uh, which I will be doing as well. Uh, so anyway, I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I will see you guys soon.